Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Y and R spoilers, Lucy has been drinking to cope with her social anxieties and low self-esteem. Lucy also appears to use alcohol to cope with loneliness. Lucy hasn't made any friends since she returned to Genoa City. Lucy, on the other hand, appears to be obsessed with establishing a friendship with Faith. After Faith rejected Lucy, the youngster drank again. Then Lucy texted Faith for assistance. Faith disposed of the alcohol before driving Lucy home. Along the way, they were involved in an automobile accident. Why and our spoiler, Cameron Kirsten's pressure Cameron has been harassing and taunting Sharon for weeks. Cameron has reappeared now that Sharon is confident Faith will be fine. Cameron continues to push Sharon for vengeance. Cameron urges Sharon to explore her dark side. Cameron also has an opinion about almost everything in Sharon's life. This involves her previous relationship with Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, as well as how to deal with Faith's friendship crisis. Sharon Newman destabilized according to spoilers for the young and the restless, Sharon is frequently seen speaking with Cameron. Sharon, on the other hand, covers up, and no one knows the degree of her mental health troubles. At the hospital, Sharon yelled at Cameron in front of Nick. However, Nick felt he had injured Sharon. Then, Maria Copeland, Cameron Grimes, caught Sharon warning someone, but she claimed to be speaking to herself. There were times when Faith wondered if her mother was seeing anything or anyone. Heather Stevens, Vale Bloom, confronted Sharon in an episode aired on Friday, August 30, 2024. Heather pushed Sharon to focus on the child's recovery rather than the punishment. However, Sharon's eyes were cold and gloomy. The young and the restless spoilers. Is Faith Newman a hero? Fans are already speculating Sharon will target Faith. While Cameron appears to be exerting increasing influence on Sharon, is there anyone who can put a halt to this madness? What if Sharon confronts Lucy, determined to exact vengeance, only for Faith to urge her mother to stop? The Y and R spoilers for August 31 show that Claire meets Summer at the park. They engage in awkward small conversation. Nick Newman is grabbing a coffee. Phyllis asks about Faith Newman, and Nick Newman inquires about Lucy. Lucy is physically well, according to Phyllis, but emotionally she is a mess. Nick claims that at the time of the phone call, he had no idea Lucy was involved. Phyllis explains, or HOO, she was involved. Daniel Romilotti, Jr. and Heather talk quietly in the hospital. Heather says Lucy's testing have gone well so far. Lucy might be launched today. Daniel claims it never happened. Heather wants to know what's going on with Daniel, and she knows it's not only Lucy. Daniel erupts and talks nonstop about Lucy sneaking out and causing a terrible tragedy. Daniel claims it happened because they were not paying attention. Why and our recap? Maria Copeland's observations. Sharon demands that Cameron Kirsten, Lyndon Ashby, keep away from her. Maria Copeland, Cameron Grimes, interrupts. Maria wants to know who Sharon was talking to. Phyllis informs Nick about the background of the accidents. Nick refuses to go to that terrible place. Nick believes he has to stay strong for faith. Phyllis asks Nick who he can rely on. Nick has not been sleeping well. Phyllis assures Nick that he can always rely on her. Nick and Phyllis had a disagreement regarding who is to blame. Phyllis questions whether Nick is blaming the children for the catastrophe. Heather informs Daniel that no one can watch their children 24 7 Heather says Lucy will face penalties. Daniel is surprised that Heather's conscience is clear. Sharon Newman covers. According to the Young and the Restless recap for Friday, August 30, Sharon informs Maria that she talks to herself when she is alone. Maria claims it sounded intense. Sharon blames the accident. Maria responds that it sounded like Sharon was issuing a stern warning. Sharon continues to come up with justifications. 
Sharon apologizes for her hysterics as she stares at Cameron from across the room. Summer and Claire are seated on a park bench. They are still making awkward small conversation. The mention of Harrison makes them both giggle. Summer begs to see what Claire has in her shopping bag. Claire informs Summer that she is changing her name to Newman and then displays the family tree, which now includes her name. Summer and Claire discuss family relationships. Claire has never been a part of that, but Summer is kind and reassuring. Summer inquires about Nikki Newman's Melody Thomas Scott employment offer. Summer Nick hopes Claire does anyone, not including Lucy. Phyllis claims Lucy's behaviors were out of character. The subject shifts to Sharon. Phyllis is aware that Sharon was already struggling prior to Faith's injury. Phyllis hopes this does not push Sharon over the edge. Sharon is still staring at Cameron. Maria catches Sharon's interest. Sharon denies glancing at anyone, although she appears unfocused. Maria is concerned and brings up Cassie. Sharon becomes enraged and annoyed of being reminded of Maria's sister. Maria apologizes first, followed by Sharon. Sharon reminds Maria that she needs to control her fury, and Cameron interjects. Cameron believes Sharon is going too far. The Young and the Restless recap for Friday, August 30, 2024. Daniel and Heather speak about Sharon. Daniel believes Sharon is still blaming him for what happened to Cassie. Daniel is still full with remorse, and Cassie has vanished forever. Heather begs Daniel not to blame himself. Sharon attempts to cover with Maria. Sharon lies to Maria, telling her she has spoken with her doctor and is on top of her medications. Sharon says she needs to return to the hospital. Maria volunteers to accompany her. Cameron resents Sharon's family's inability to leave her alone. Nick informs Phyllis that Sharon is not getting better. Phyllis is asking inquiries. A lot of questions. Nick is unable to provide the correct answers. Sharon instructs Maria to continue ahead without her. Sharon admits she needs to change. Then Sharon explains why they need two cars rather than one. Cameron claps as Maria leaves. Cameron threatens to make Sharon reveal her true feelings about her family. Sharon asks Cameron to go. Cameron claims Sharon needs him to fuel her rage so she can do what needs to be done. Nick wants to help Sharon. Phyllis suggests that perhaps he cannot. According to Phyllis, Nick is neither Sharon's doctor nor her husband. Claire listens while Summer discusses business over the phone with Chlo Mitchell, Elizabeth Hendrickson. Claire discusses the past crimes she committed. Claire is not the same person. Summer acknowledges she has been awful to Claire. Claire completely understands. Summer does not want Claire to quit on her own terms, or because anybody else wants her to. Lucy is freaking out. Daniel and Heather hurry inside. Lucy believes Faith died because she isn't in her hospital bed. The parents reassure Lucy. The teen sobs, regrets sneaking out, and blames herself for the accident. Sharon walks in and hears Lucy sobbing from behind the curtain. Maria appears unexpectedly and asks Sharon what's wrong. Nick leaves. Phyllis is concerned about both Nick and Sharon. Summer assures Claire that things are improving with Kyle. Summer asks Claire about what Kyle told her. Claire claims Kyle has not mentioned anything. Claire had to learn everything about the Newmans for Jordan, even Summer. Summer admits to Claire that she is still adjusting to being a part of their family. Maria brings Sharon water. Sharon tears, saying that seeing Faith's bed vacant brought back awful memories of Cassie. Maria's phone rings, leaving Sharon and Heather alone. Summer meets with Phyllis. They discuss Sharon freaking out. Summer is more sensitive than Phyllis. Phyllis is concerned about Lucy torturing herself. Phyllis wants everyone to band together as a family to assist Lucy. Daniel and Nick discuss Lucy's guilt. Daniel discusses the past. Nick pushes him to focus on Lucy's recovery. Heather tries to empathize with Sharon. Sharon sneers. Heather keeps blabbing anxiously. 
Heather wants Sharon to help the kids recuperate without focusing on the consequences. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.